PLS is given to those people who develops cardiac arrest, respiratory distress, or any foreign body into the air passage. The techniques you will see are so simple, even any general population public also, if they know the technique, they can perform BLS very easily. Now what is cardiac arrest? Cardiac arrest is a situation where the heart is unable to pump blood to the vital organs like the brain, heart or the kidney. The most important organ who suffers in cardiac arrest is the, our brain because we know the brain controls the entire activity of the body. So during cardiac arrest, another problem is the timing is very short, it is just 4 to 6 minutes. If it is more than 4 to 6 minutes, then the brain cells become permanently damaged and they ne never revives. So this is the reason we should know the, how to do BLS, number one. And we, know, we should do the BLS immediately because our hospitals are not near to the houses. So dur during any cardiac arrest event happens at home or in a public places, if you know how to do the BLS, you can initiate the BLS and bring the, you know, the victim to the hospitals. Let's take a scenario to understand the techniques of BLS. Suppose in a public place somebody has suddenly collapsed, then how to provide BLS to that victim, she will demonstrate. Now first she should ensure that the scene is safe, then she will, you know, check for the response of the victim. Now there is, since there is no response, then she will check the breathing and as well as circulation of the patient. For that, she will put fingers in the neck where you, you know our vessels to the blood vessels to the brain is there. So she will check breathing and same time she will see whether the chest is doing any movement or not. If chest is also not moving, there is no pulse and there is no response, we will understand that the victim is in cardiac arrest. The next thing she will do is, she will call for help. Does anyone call for the emergency response to you? First we have to identify the midline between the chest and we have to keep this part of the, of the hand here, which will be the dominant hand and the other hand we should interlock with each other and we have to give chest compression in between the chest in the sternum part. We have to start CPR immediately. So she, she, will, she will do 30 chest compression like this and she will give two breaths. Now she will demonstrate how to give breath to the victim. She will take a plain clean piece of cloth, put it over the uh, victim's sleeve, close the nostril of the victim and other hand will be utilized to lift the chin. Then she will take a normal breath and she will blow out that breath over the patient mouth. She will do it like twice. She will do it again. We have to lift the chin like this and we have to take a normal breath and we have to blow it. So 30 chest compression followed by two rescue breaths are the main uh, component of the BLS. Now as you have seen how to do 30 chest compression and two breaths. Now this cycle will be repeating for five cycles and after every five cycles we will try to see whether the victim has regained consciousness or not. If the victim is still unconscious or unresponsive, we will continue this at, um, in 30 to 2 compression and for five cycles more and or till the help arrives. Now when help comes, help comes in the form of this machine, this is called AED. What is AED? This is a, what is the full form of AED is automated external defibrillator. This is the machine which is utilized to give shock to the victim. If you can see, this is a very simplified automatic machine. The machine has got, you know, machine talks of its own. Tear open package and remove pads. The machine is... Tear open package and remove pads. Tear open package and remove pads. Peel one pad from plastic liner. You have to take the... Peel one pad from plastic liner. 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 Peel one pad from plast
Peel one pad from plastic liner. And the two place, place one pad on bare upper chest. One pad here, and another place pad will be pad placed with bare upper chest here. Now, what the machine place will do? Pad on bare upper chest. Now, what the machine will do? Since it is an automatic machine, it will uh, will see the condition of the heart, and if the cardiac arrest happens because of any cardiac uh, arrhythmia, which is means the heart is running very fast. So this machine recognizes that and gives shock to the victim. But that shock only be delivered if you, when you press this red button. Otherwise, there is shock will not go to the victim's body. Now, this machine is very important in the sense that if you go to airports of the country or you know in the western countries if you are going to the shopping malls food giants the you know whether there is a crowds are more they usually keep this machine because this machine can save lives if this machine gives shock that immediately the cardiac arrest scenario may be get the victim may get back the consciousness now going little forward uh, bls about the kids now she will demonstrate for the kids how to give CPR. So she will hold the kid's head with one hand and she will be utilizing her other hand two finger in the same area and will give chest compression as you can see in the video. We will see the another technique which she will demonstrate now. This, th this is called two thumb hand inserting method where the in the back both the fingers should touch each other and in the front so the two thumbs will give chest compression at the same place where we have given chest compression a little bit ago. Now let's talk a little bit about choking. In choking what happens when we if we uh, eating while eating solid food the food may enter into our airway that is the windpipe which is also known as trachea. In this situation, what happens is the solid, if the solid food goes to the food pipe, uh, instead of food pipe goes to the airway, the victim is unable to talk because the, the starting point of the trachea is the vocal cord which we utilize for talking. Now, suppose somebody is eating solid food and by mistake it has gone to the air spaces, what will happen is he, the victim cannot speak and victim actually does a posture like you can see him to show that there is something wrong in the throat. Now, to relieve this choking, what, what we do is you have to stand in the back, look at my hand, one hand is open, one hand is closed. I will keep this, keep my hand exactly into the area where the, our bones ends and the soft abdomen starts. We will keep the hand here like this and then we will do the victim like back and up thrust. This will do five times. This will, what this will do, this will actually, you know, squeeze the lung and the lung, the air inside the lung will try to come out and in the process the food comes into the mouth and it can be thrown out of that from the mouth. So this is how we, you know, put ourselves in the back of the victim and do the maneuver to relieve the choking. In case of kids, the method is a little different. You need to sit comfortably first, hold the neck of the baby, five times, and again, you know, turn the deep back, and utilize your hand, the back of the chest, This is also five times. We have to be careful that baby should not fall from our hand, but the head should be always in the down position in the both the both the time. This is how we relieve choking in case of very small infant. So if the victim is not that big, small girl, eight or nine years, we can do the same technique I've just shown by sitting method also. We can do it like this also if the child or the victim is small.
Now, if you, I want to summarize what we have learned in this uh, session. The first thing is we understood that you know who can provide VLS. VLS can be provided by anybody. It is the general population, the healthcare providers, anybody can provide. It is just basic the technique. You need to know how to do that. Number one. Second, we also come to know that what is cardiac arrest and what is the you know subsequent effect of cardiac arrest in our body. So starting VLS quickly saves a life and it should be learned by everybody because you know with this simple techniques we can save lives now in this session we also know you know we discuss about the machine called AED which is again a life saver machine should be available in all the crowded places and also sometimes we have also seen how to give you know chest compression to the babies lastly we have seen uh, how to give, uh, how to relieve choking in a case of, uh, in case victim has choked, in case of adult and also in case of infant. Now, my request to viewers that BLS, the basic life support, please learn it. And if you know how to do BLS, you have seen the steps are very simple. By knowing BLS and if you can implement on a victim who is in cardiac arrest, you can save a life. And that is the, probably the biggest thing we can achieve. Very simple technique of basic life support. Thank you. So in this video, um, I thank uh, Sister Sijana to participate and show you the skills. And also Faizan helping me out to show you the, the choking session, how to relieve choking. Thank you both of you. Thank you. Beats music.